There are a ton of different CPAP mask options out there, but how do you know which one is right for you? Well, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through every mask style, how to fit each mask properly, and how to choose the right mask for you based on your sleep apnea symptoms and personal preferences. Hi everyone, I'm Diane, respiratory therapist here at Sleep Doctor. I have over 20 years of experience working with sleep medicine and CPAP machines. So let's start off by talking about all the varieties of CPAP mask styles on the market. And please note that most masks are designed to work with most machines, so there's really no need to worry about compatibility issues. All right, first we have the nasal pillows mask. This mask uses soft silicone pillows or gel pillows that sit at the entrance of the nostrils to create an effective seal. Many of these masks come with fit packs that include various sizes to accommodate the different sizes of nostrils. Now let's go over how to properly fit a nasal pillow mask on your face. First, you're going to position the nasal pillows at the entrance to the nostrils. Keep in mind on this mask in particular, it tells you left and right, and it also has your size down here at the bottom. So always make sure the size is down towards the chin. So we're gonna place the pillows at the entrance of the nostrils and we're gonna pull the headgear to the back of the head. Make sure that those are comfortable into your nostrils. And then what you're going to do is position these two straps, one at the base of the head and one at the top of the head. You can tighten the mask using the strap here on the side. You want to make sure that this mask is not too tight. Run your fingers around the edge of the nostrils to make sure that there is no air escaping to ensure that there is a proper size and fit. So the advantages of the nasal pillow mask is they're small, lightweight, and minimalistic. It's easy to change body positions during the night, they're easy to take on and off, and they're great for people with facial hair. It minimizes red marks on the face and skin irritation as well. And also it comes in fit packs, which helps accommodate for the different size nostrils. And it generally has fewer mask leaks compared to other options. However, there are some drawbacks to this mask. It's not ideal for higher pressure settings as it can make breathing out against the CPAP pressure feel a little more difficult and also can cause a little more leakage. There's also a potential for sore nostrils, which is usually a short-term problem. It does require breathing through the nose only, so it won't work if you're a mouth breather or have chronic nasal congestion. So the next mask style is called the nasal cradle mask. This mask is similar to the nasal pillows, but instead of the pillow design that enters the nostrils, it uses a single cradle with two air holes and your nose rests directly on top. So how do we fit the nasal cradle properly on the face? Just like with the nasal pillow mask, this one has your size down at the bottom and it says left and right on the sides. So what you're going to do is place the cradle just below the nose and you're going to pull the strap onto the back of the head. These straps should separate on the head one at the base of the skull and one on the top of the head. Ensure that the cradle is sitting just underneath the nose with your nose in its normal position. It shouldn't be pushed up like a pig nose, just in its normal proper position. Make sure that the straps are on the tops of the cheekbones and make sure that you feel around the outside edge to make sure that there is no leakage. If there is, reposition and tighten if needed. So some advantages to the nasal cradle mask, it shares the same benefits as the nasal pillows. It's minimalistic in design, it's lightweight with fewer components that make it more comfortable and less cumbersome. And compared to the nasal pillow, the air pressure feels less intense, which may make it easier to tolerate throughout the night. If you do toss and turn throughout the night, this mask doesn't provide as good a quality of security because you don't have those pillows that are directly pushing air into your nostrils. So who would we recommend this mask for? people who might be a little more sensitive to direct nasal air pressure. And because this mask has a slightly looser fit and therefore is more prone to air leakage, it's good for people who don't move around as much during the night. So next we have a standard nasal mask. A standard nasal mask is a mask that covers the entirety of the nose, providing an effective seal, and it's made of either silicone or gel similar to the pillows and the cradle masks. Now let's talk about how to properly fit a nasal mask on your face. So for this mask, it does have magnets. So we're gonna take those magnets off and we're going to place this mask just gently over the nose and pull the straps around. We're gonna attach the magnets. And now we're gonna adjust the straps to properly seal the mask. The key with any mask is making sure that it's snug, however, not tight. This should not hurt your face. It should not hurt your nose. So we're gonna adjust each strap by pulling the Velcro out and just tightening with even pressure. 
Once you have your mask properly on your face, you want to ensure there is no leakage, especially around the bridge of the nose. There should be no air leaking into your eyes. There should be no air leaking here around your lip. Run your fingers around the outside edge of the cushion to make sure that there's no leakage and adjust accordingly. Let's examine the benefits and challenges of the standard nasal mask. Unlike the nasal pillow mask, which pushes air directly up your nose, and the nasal cradle, which sits under, this mask circulates air around your nose, so it's better for higher pressure settings. It provides a snug fit, especially with the more straps, which helps prevent movement during the night, keeping it secure on the head. The challenges with this mask can be that the head straps can feel cumbersome. While it's less so than a full face mask, it's still noticeable and can leave red marks on the face from the straps, especially if you get them too tight. Additionally, it may cause sensitivities on the bridge of the nose. So who would we recommend the standard nasal mask for? This mask is ideal for individuals who require higher pressure settings and prefer minimal mask contact on their face. On to the full face mask and how it works. This mask covers both the nose and mouth, providing a comprehensive seal under the bridge of the nose to just under the chin. This ensures effective therapy for users who breathe both through their nose and mouth during sleep. Many of these masks also come with fit packs, which include various sizes to accommodate the different face shapes and sizes. So let's talk about how to properly fit the full face mask on your face. So for this mask, I'm just going to take off the bottom straps here and I'm going to put it gently over the nose and mouth. You want to ensure that it's at the mid bridge of the nose to just under the lip. Pulling the strap over the back of the head and we're going to attach it here with those magnets. For this mask you want a snug comfortable fit. It should not be smushed up on your face. It should be sitting the top of the bridge to the base of the lip comfortably on the face. Feel around the mask to ensure that you have no air leakage and if you do, you're going to adjust the straps accordingly. With a full face mask, you should work your straps from the top to the bottom. So we're just going to gently open up these straps and we're just going to adjust them with even pressure to make that mask tighter on the face. With a full face mask, some of your common leak areas on it are going to be at the bridge of the nose. You should not feel air leakage into your eyes you also should not feel air leakage around the chin. So make sure that if you feel air leakage in those spots, that you tighten your mask straps appropriately. So the full face mask has many benefits and some drawbacks, so let's discuss those. People who use these types of masks can withstand higher pressure settings. It also comes with a variety of sizes to fit each facial type. It provides a snug fit, especially with the additional straps, which help provide a secure connection so that it doesn't move very much during the night. However, there are some challenges to this mask. The robust straps can feel cumbersome, while less so than other types of masks is still noticeable. Additionally, they may cause sensitivities on the bridge of the nose and other parts of the face. Now let's move on to our last style of mask, the full face hybrid mask and how it works. This mask works similar to a nasal cradle in the fact that it sits under your nose, but it also covers the mouth as well to accommodate mouth breathers. This ensures effective therapy for users who breathe through both their nose and mouth during their sleep. Many of these masks can come with fit packs, which include various sizes to accommodate different shapes of faces and sizes. So now let's talk about how to properly fit the hybrid full face mask on your face. So with this mask, we have magnets down here at the bottom. I'm gonna take those off. And what we're gonna do is fit the nasal portion just underneath the nose and right here around the mouth. Adjust your straps. We're gonna pull these straps forward and attach our magnets. Next, you want to ensure that there's no air leakage here around the nostrils and none here around the chin. If there is, you want to tighten your straps, again, moving from the top to the bottom. This mask gives you a free field of vision here so you can see, you can watch TV or read a book if that's what you need to go to sleep. So let's examine the advantages and drawbacks of the full face hybrid mask. This mask is great for people who want less contact on the face particularly those who may have claustrophobia, who have difficulty tolerating a traditional full face style, but still are mouth breathers requiring a full face mask. It also provides a snug fit, although it can be a little more challenging to get the proper fit. The drawbacks of this mask are similar to a traditional full face style in that the straps can feel cumbersome. Additionally, it may cause sensitivities under the nose or other parts of the face. So let's talk about maintenance and care of your CPAP masks. You should be replacing your mask at least every three months. You should be cleaning your mask weekly with warm soapy water and wiping down your cushions daily with using a CPAP wipe or popping them out of the frame and using warm soapy water to do so. 
So what would happen if you don't properly clean your mask? It can lead to respiratory infections, it can also lead to problems with acne or skin irritations, and it can promote an increase in mask leakage. If you found this helpful, please give this video a like and be sure to subscribe to the channel. We have a ton of CPAP content, including in-depth machine and individual mask reviews, as well as videos that cover a variety of questions that you may have regarding your sleep apnea symptoms. As we mentioned before, keeping your CPAP mask and tubing clean on a daily basis is one of the most important things you can be doing for your CPAP system. So if you want to learn more about how to properly clean your CPAP gear, check out this in-depth video right here. All right, everyone, thanks for watching, sleep well.